like it is today in our studio I'm super excited because I have Linda Shepard here and when I tell you what she's accomplished you're gonna understand why I'm excited I've just become a new author so I showed up at an event that she runs thinking wow I've got a book and then I've met this lady who's written 33 books so you are you're amazing and you help a lot of other women but today we're here talking about your book and God really has an anointing on your life for prayer and your latest book is called Praying God's Promise. Tell me a little bit about this book, Linda. Well, you know, a lot of people are looking for God's will and they don't know how to find it. They certainly don't know how to pray it. And so they're confused. They're afraid to pray because they're afraid they're going to pray the wrong thing. But what if you could find a scripture that told you God's will that you could pray and agree with? So I'm not like a name it and claim it girl. I'm like a find it and say it. <laughs> Agree with it. Say yes to it, girl. And so what you get to do is we've got like, I don't know, like 26 different categories. And you can, you can go through the book and find a promise. Like let's say you want to pray for your kids. Mm. You can find a promise for your kids. And then you can say, this is God's will because it says over right here. And you can pray it. You know what I like about this? You know, today we want to Google anything. You don't even know what you're reading on Google. But when you read this book, I just looked at something right now. One of your topics was direction. Mm -hmm. And then she lays out scriptures that are about that. One of your topics was comfort. comfort. One of your topics was heaven. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you have been ministering for a long time. And I, I, I think what's happening is that, you know, you're just laying it out for us. And if you're like me, I'm so busy as a mom and a wife and working. I need somebody to lay it out for me. We were talking earlier and you were telling me a story about Rhonda Ray. Would you tell them? You've got to tell them this story. Oh, I can't wait to tell you. Okay, now imagine this. I'm talking to my friend Rhonda on the phone. And so she's saying, Linda, you're not going to believe what happened today. My daughter Kaylee was hit by an 18-wheeler mm. on the freeway. And she said, and not only did she walk away, her little car, she walked away from the accident. She drove her little car away from the accident and I said oh you've been praying Psalms 91 over your children haven't you and she said no and then she looked it up in the Bible really quick to see what it was and it's all about escaping the snare and and mm -hmm. about the the arrows that fly by night and all these things and it's about praying for your family and all of this and she looked up and she said well, you know what Linda not only do I pray Psalms 91 she said I sing it over my children every oh, day. Oh my goodness. And I could tell from the miracle what she had been agreeing with in the word. So do you think that if we're going th through something specific you know maybe my child has walked away from Christ or what, what would you tell to a woman that like I'm in the middle of a situation what would you tell me you know what what should I do should I give up or is there a way that I can pray hope into that situation? Absolutely you can pray hope into that situation because you can figure out what the word says about it and you can agree with it. We're going to find one real quick. How about this one? Train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it. I found a man in a, in a, a, who had been in prison whose mother had claimed that and there he was in a prayer seminar. God had answered that promise. And I believe that. And you know, if you're watching today, I'm going to tell you, she's got such great resources on prayer. But you know what? Don't give up. You know, don't let the enemy make your situation bigger and that mountain bigger than the God that you serve. Because God is alive. He's able. He's on the throne. He can pull you out of situations. I don't care if you're facing divorce, financial disaster. If your kids have walked away and you go, oh my gosh, I had them in Sunday school all my life. What happened? We can't give up. We can't give up. We can say, okay, God's word says, and I'm going to just agree with it, and we're going to watch God do the miracle. And you know what? This is a lady who, gosh, yes, I have been on your website. I've seen your history. I've seen things that you've personally had to have God walk you through. And right now, I know you're watching, and I just feel like the Lord, the Holy Spirit, is just saying that there's some of you out there in desperation, and you need the power of God's prayer to transform your situation. Um, you know, and I want you to pray. Before you do that, I'm going to do one thing though here. There's a great magazine that she's done and it's called Leading Hearts. So girls that are out there and you're facing disaster, it's not a bleeding heart. It's a leading heart, girls. And it's at leadinghearts.com and there is a ton of great authors. You have a ton of people putting stuff in here. We need encouragement. And so for that person that feels like they are 
in the trenches right now. Linda, you know, could you just pray over them right now that God will lift them up out of that situation? I would love to. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to pray a scripture. We're going to pray one on hope. And here it is, John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me. In the world you will have, have trouble, but take hope. I have overcome the world. So here's the prayer. Lord, we know that there's trouble here in the world, but we take our hope in you because we know and trust that not only have you overcome the world, you have overcome our trouble. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe if you have prayed with us that you are an overcoming uh, overcomer and you need to walk in that victory. We're so excited that you tuned in today and we can't wait to see you next time. <music>